Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Hello, wonderful humans, and welcome back to The Bliss Fiend. I know it's a bit early for spring cleaning here in Wisconsin, at least. I don't think winter will be over until at least April, but I felt like I really needed a fresh start, a fresh start for 2021, a fresh start to make spring arrive faster. And so over the course of the next month, I will be doing a series of four different decluttering videos. It will be a spring cleaning series. I'm going to share my process and then also give some tips to help you with yours. At the same time, we'll be doing four weekly challenges on the Vibely app. So if you don't know what that is, it's a place for Bliss Beans or viewers of the Bliss Bean to complete weekly challenges have group chats about things that us Bliss Beans are interested in and just support each other in their personal development journey. So this month, all of the challenges will be the same as that week's video. For example, this week the video is decluttering my desk. So I challenge you to declutter and organize your workspace, share a before and after photo on the Vibely app and get inspired by other people who did the challenge. So without further ado, this is how I decluttered my desk. First of all, I thought I would show you what my desk looks like right now, a very honest look at what it looks like during the week, because whenever I film videos or take photos or anything, I clear it off, I make it look perfect, but that is not a realistic representation of what it usually looks like. So it's not that bad, but here it is. These are the flowers from last week's video, half of which are dead. I've got a bunch of different candles. I've been burning an unhealthy amount of candles, all sorts of hard drives and wires and SD cards and stuff. Kind of gross paper towel, notebook, blue light glasses. So yeah, this is what my desk looks like on a normal day. I started by moving everything away from the wall so that I could really get into the corners to sweep there. And then I took everything that was on or near my desk and I put it on the floor so that I could see everything all at once. Whenever you're decluttering, take everything out and have it all visible so that you can get a really clear idea of how much you actually have. It's scary, but you have to make a mess before you can clean the mess because it's hard to decide what to throw out if there's stuff that you can't even see because it's like hidden at the bottom of a drawer or something. If you're overwhelmed by the gigantic pile and you don't know where to start, just reach for the thing that's closest to you. Ask yourself, do I want to keep this or let go of it? Rinse and repeat. Tis the season. It is actually not the season. Discard. Oh look, it's me, working on my Squarespace website. Is it time for the Squarespace integration? Mm-hmm. Okay, one second. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So Squarespace is the perfect place to make a beautiful website without any coding knowledge. Or maybe you do have coding knowledge, but with Squarespace, you don't have to use it. You can make a website for your blog, online store, podcast, a membership site, a portfolio. So for example, if you're in high school or college, as I know many of you are, I know my audience demographics, you can make a resume or a compilation of your work to show off to internships and potential employers in a very aesthetic way. They have tons of templates that you can work with and then easily customize to suit your style by changing the fonts and colors, combining drag and drop blocks, and creating new pages from existing templates. So for example, you might list some of your skills and have some contact information on the front page and then have a separate portfolio tab where you share examples of your work. So you can head to Squarespace for a free trial and then when you're ready to launch your portfolio, go to squarespace.com slash theblissbean to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Now I have to get back to work, thank you very much. This is a chair that I used to have in my room because my room used to be very, very pink. <sighs> During the stage of my room makeover when I was painting walls and putting in flooring, so my room was filled with paint fumes and sawdust and I could not sleep in here. So I slept in my brother's room, I worked in my brother's room, and at his desk he had this soft, like, fake leather, I don't know what this is, chair. And I really liked it, so I took it. Don't worry, my brother barely uses his desk. He does everything on the floor or downstairs, so he did not even notice. But eventually I had two problems with this chair. One is that it's pretty old, so it's like peeling. And then also I think I just work better in a hard chair versus a soft one. Let me know in the comments whether you prefer soft or hard chairs for focusing and getting things done. But so yeah, I'm retiring this chair and going back into the arms of my old chair. Beep, beep. So rule number 
This finger is low key broken. Rule number three of the KonMari method is finish discarding first. So the first thing I wanted to do was look through everything and see what I wanted to get rid of. I really didn't get rid of that many things. I expected that because I decluttered my room intensely in 2019. So there just wasn't that much left to get rid of. But I did have like some old washi tapes and some old stickers that I just know I'm never gonna use. And I actually also am decluttering a lot of my colored pencils and markers and things. And I was not expecting to be getting rid of this, but as I was looking through it, I just thought, I used to use these so much, but I have not used them in a while. And I don't really want to be using them anymore. Like, you know how she says, does it spark joy? They are not sparking joy anymore. So I think I'm gonna try and give them away to some little kids that I know, or see if there's a place that takes craft supply donations or things like that. By the way, if you're looking for some decluttering inspiration aside from my videos you should check out Marie Kondo's website I have read her book I've seen some of the TV show but I never really looked at her website and they have some beautiful videos on there so there's this one video that's all about the KonMari fold and someone commented why does it feel like I just meditated for 25 minutes this video was only four minutes but felt like a full therapy session but I am now going to move on to organizing all of this stuff so first I want to figure out a system for putting stuff back in my drawer because a whole category, one drawer was dedicated to pencils and markers and stuff. So I'll probably have some empty drawers now, but I have to figure out a system that'll make sense. Organizing the drawers was probably the most fun part of this process. So after I had a rough idea of what I wanted to go in each drawer, I kind of experimented a little bit. I looked for boxes that I could use as dividers. So in the top drawers, I wanted to put the stuff that I figured I would be accessing most often. So the very top one has notebooks, notebooks that I don't use quite as often as the ones that I put on my desk, and then two pencil cases. The next one is for all of my tech stuff. So I have my graphics tablet, hard drives, and their cases adapters, SD cards, batteries, chargers. I also had headphones and a bunch of wires that were previously kind of a mess, so I just used rubber bands to bundle them up and keep them nice and tidy. This next one is so empty, it's ridiculous, but I decided to have a drawer for scrap pieces of paper that I could use for little notes or language practice. The next one is for office supplies, so I really love using the boxes of lids to keep stuff sectioned off and organized, so I have things like binder clips, rubber bands, and paper clips in this little box. I had some writing utensils that used to be in my pencil cup that I don't use quite as often and don't look very good on my desk, so I hid them away in my drawer. And then there's other miscellaneous stuff like whiteout, scissors, tape, just your usual office accoutrements. I don't even know if that's how you use the word. My crafts drawer was severely minimized, so now I just have a roll of twine, some leftover ribbon from Christmas, a bunch of stickers, embroidery floss, and my bag of BTS photos. This last one, I don't know what to name it, miscellaneous stuff. I have earplugs, some letter writing stationery, Madison, Wisconsin postcards that I would like to send to someone someday, and then this notebook that I just use for scrap paper. It is day two. I have to finish up organizing some things, figuring out what to do with the stuff that I want to get rid of. And also after sleeping on the question, I have decided I do want to keep that Christmas tree around because the corner of my room now looks so empty without it. I will take the Christmas ornaments off so it'll just be a tree not affiliated with any holiday. But yeah, I'm excited to be done with this. I'm so ready. My next project was to wrangle all of these freaking wires and cables. So as much as I love this standing desk, it is kind of annoying that especially when you bring it up, all of these wires from the desk, the lamp, computer charger are just hanging down. So the first thing I did was I screwed in the little controller that makes the desk go up and down. Cause when I did my room makeover, I couldn't decide whether I wanted it on the left or the right side. I could not commit. So I just left it hanging on a wire and I can't believe it took me months to literally get around to doing this, but now it's so much easier. After that, I moved on to the rest of the wires. So the desk came with these sticky zip tie things that I used to bundle up all of the wires and try to kind of make them lay flat against the bottom side of the desk. I think I was pretty successful. I think it looks really good now if I do say so myself. Technically, I keep this magazine holder in my closet, but it is a part of my workspace. So I want to look through this and see what old papers I have that I can throw out. Basically, it's just a bunch of folders for different categories like personal bank account, business bank account, other stuff I don't remember. So let's see. Here's a tip. Storing papers vertically makes it so much easier to find what you need because you can just flip through it rather than having to dig through a drawer or something like that. 
I have this blackboard on my wall that really wasn't being used to its full potential so I took some time to make it more beautiful and I decorated it with just the name of the month, a little affirmation to focus on, and then the habit that I'm working on tracking. Real quick about this thing, in case you haven't seen my vision board video yet, I really, really like it because it's so colorful, it serves as a decoration. Especially now that my desk is here, it looks really good in the background of a Zoom call, but also at the same time, every image represents the kind of life that I want to manifest. So get you a wall that can do both, manifestation and aesthetics. The most annoying part was finishing up. I figured out what to donate, what to throw away, and then I also took photos of some documents and letters that I didn't necessarily need physical copies of, but I wanted to be able to see in the future. On my desktop, I try to keep very few things, so I have some plants, some real and some fake. These flowers I bought for myself two weeks ago, and I don't even think you're supposed to keep flowers that long, but I threw out the ones that were definitely on their last leg. I trimmed the stems again and I changed the water. Hopefully they'll be fine because they do spark joy, so I wanna keep them around as long as possible. I usually have a candle on my desk because I like the relaxing smells while I'm working. I have just a couple of notebooks. I used to have a bunch and they would keep sliding off because of all the weight and crash very loudly. So now I only have four there and the ones I use less often I put in the drawer. I have this pencil cup which also used to be cluttered with stuff that I didn't use often that looked ugly or that didn't even work anymore. I have this little dish where I usually keep a lip balm, some earplugs, right now I have my headphones. I also used to keep my SD cards here if I wasn't using them, but I want to get out of that habit because it just looked ugly. So I'm going to try to just store them in the drawer where I have the rest of my tech stuff. And then finally, I always have a post-it next to me to write down anything that pops into my head while I'm working. Oh, and then also usually what's cluttering up my desk is hard drives and wires and stuff. So I got these little adapter things that go straight from USB to USB-C. So hopefully this will keep my desk looking a little more minimal. And that's it. I think I've organized and shown you every nook and cranny of my desk. Now that you've watched this video, it's time for you to clean your desk. You thought you could just watch the video and not do anything and get away with it? So if you want some inspiration and motivation, as a reminder, this week's challenge on our Vibely group is to share a before and after of your results of organizing your desk. So you can go to app.vibely.io slash blissbean or just click the link in my bio to sign up for that challenge. I hope you enjoy the rest of this series. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the other three decluttering videos. And I think that's it. I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.